The Australian Army's future battlefield vision is taking shape in the form of a new pairing, Hanwha's Redback Infantry Fighting Vehicle and Raphael's Spike LR-2 Anti-Tank Guided Missile. Each system on its own is formidable. Together, they form a combination of mobility, survivability, and precision strike that could redefine Australia's ground combat doctrine in the Pacific theater. This is not just about adding another armored vehicle to the force or fielding a modern missile. It is about creating an integrated killing system where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. The Redback IFV is Australia's answer to the growing demands of high-intensity land warfare. Developed by Hanwha Defence Australia for Land 400 Phase 3, it represents a step change from legacy infantry fighting vehicles. Its T-2000 turret, equipped with advanced sensors, active protection systems, and a digital battlefield network, allows the crew to fight with maximum situational awareness. Heavy composite and modular armor give the Redback the protection to survive modern battlefields saturated with anti-armor weapons. Its Hydra pneumatic suspension and power pack enable mobility across diverse terrains, from open plains to dense urban streets and tropical forests. Designed with crew safety in mind, it can deliver infantry close to the fight even in environments saturated with enemy fire. The Spike LR2 from Raphael Advanced Defense Systems is the fifth generation of the Spike missile family. Selected under LAN 159 to serve as Australia's long-range direct fire support weapon, it offers a maximum range of 5.5 kilometers from the ground, extending to 10 kilometers when launched from helicopters or aerial platforms. The missile's imaging seeker, combined with a two-way data link, allows for both fire and forget and fire observe update modes. The crew can redirect the missile mid-flight, assess battle damage, or switch to a higher priority target. With tandem heat and multi-purpose blast warhead options, Spike LR2 can defeat heavily armored main battle tanks or fortified positions with equal lethality. Its top attack capability makes it particularly lethal against vehicles relying on frontal armor, while its high trajectory modes enable engagement from angles that are difficult to defend. When these two systems are combined, the effect is transformative. The Redback delivers the crew safely into range and positions the missile system for maximum effect, while the Spike LR2 reaches out and destroys targets long before they can threaten the vehicle. This pairing merges survivability and lethality into a single platform, enabling Australia to project decisive firepower in environments where standoff engagement is as important as armor protection. The first dimension of this power is the combination of range and armor. In high-threat environments where direct exposure is deadly, the Redback's armor and active protection systems allow it to approach contested zones while shielding its crew. Once in position, the Spike LR2 takes over, engaging targets far beyond the reach of conventional autocannons. This means the Redback can remain concealed or undercover, firing missiles from safe standoff distances without revealing its exact location. In essence, the vehicle becomes a hunter that can see its prey without being seen in return. The second dimension is multi-environment combat adaptability. Along coastal defense lines, a Redback armed with Spike LR2 can move into hardened positions near the shore and act as a first line of interception against enemy amphibious landings. In such a scenario, the combination offers both mobility and reach, neutralizing landing craft and armored vehicles before they secure a beachhead. In urban combat, where threats lurk behind corners and inside buildings, the Redback's 360-degree sensor suite can detect enemy armor or firing positions hidden from direct line of sight. The Spike LR2, with its man-in-the-loop control, can be guided through windows or narrow gaps to destroy the target without collateral exposure of the vehicle. In tropical forests, common in Australia's immediate region, 
The Redback's mobility allows it to navigate narrow concealed tracks, while Spike LR2 can fire over treetops in a lofted trajectory to strike enemy armored columns moving along parallel routes. This level of adaptability ensures the duo can dominate in every geographic setting relevant to the Pacific Theater. The third dimension is the integration of command and reconnaissance assets. Modern warfare is about sensors as much as shooters, and the Redback Spike combination thrives in a networked battle space. A reconnaissance UAV detects and identifies an enemy armored formation. That information is transmitted in real time to the Redback's battle management system. The vehicle maneuvers into an optimal firing position, perhaps using terrain masking to remain unseen, before launching a Spike LR2 missile that guides precisely to the UAV designated coordinates. This kill chain compresses the time from detection to destruction, leaving the enemy little opportunity to react. It is not just about range and firepower, it is about information dominance turned into immediate lethal effect. This system is not without challenges. Integrating complex missile systems into an IFV platform requires extensive testing, not only for firing accuracy, but also for reliability in harsh operational conditions. Australia's procurement schedule must ensure timely delivery and integration of both the Redback and Spike LR2, avoiding capability gaps. Training crews to fully exploit the missile's advanced guidance modes will be critical, as will establishing robust supply chains for missile resupply in forward areas. Furthermore, active protection systems and countermeasures on future adversary armor will evolve. Maintaining Spike LR2's lethality will require software and seeker upgrades over the vehicle's service life. Solutions are already emerging. Live fire trials in Israel have proven the Spike LR2's integration into the Redback's T-2000 turret, with successful direct hits on all test targets. Varley Raphael Australia's role in supplying and potentially manufacturing Spike LR2 domestically offers a pathway to secure supply and future upgrades. The Redback's modular electronic architecture ensures that software updates and new sensors can be integrated without major redesign. Most importantly, pairing the system with Australia's growing network of ISR assets, from small quadcopters to high-end surveillance drones, will ensure it remains relevant in the evolving battle space. When Redback and Spike LR2 combine, Australia will not only have an infantry fighting vehicle or an anti-tank missile, but a battlefield system that delivers precision destruction with mobility and survivability. It is a pairing that can close with the enemy under armor, strike from distances beyond return fire, and adapt instantly to changing combat environments. In the Pacific theater, where distances are vast, terrain is varied, and threats range from armored divisions to amphibious landing forces, this duo will be a constant concern for any opposing armored formation. It represents a statement. Australia will not wait for the fight to come to it, nor will it enter the fight on unequal terms. It will meet the challenge with speed, precision, and a steel-backed fist. If you want to continue receiving in-depth updates on Australia's military capabilities and strategic posture, support the channel, follow, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss the latest news from the Australian Defence Front.